Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the second channel. Inside of today's video, I'm going to give you guys a full breakdown of LCQ predictions day number one. And boy, is this going to be a banger. So I'll leave a link to where you can watch this in the description. And just also, it's at event.supercell.com where you can do your predictions. Because you guys will want to do this. Because now the event Brawl Stars website is looking so much better. Every single year, they up the game. And there's a bunch of star drops. So of course, that can help with progression. That can help you get new brawlers, everything. There's a rank star drop, which is quite insane, and a legendary star drop at the end. You can't quite see it because I've zoomed in, but there's a legendary star drop at 2000. So you want to make sure that you're getting the right predictions for this. I will say LCQ will be a bit of a hard one because of last year. There were some upsets, so always will be in esports, but I'll give you guys the best predictions for sure. Just going off stats, a lot of the times there can be upsets. So if you guys want to change a few things around, but this should be pretty good to go for the most part. So we're going to be taking a look at day number one and these are going to be groups so it's like a i don't know what to call it is it like round robin i've got the actual technical term for it but essentially they're going to play each other in this group and the top two teams so they'll advance to day number two which will go straight to a quarter final and then that will be randomized so i can't predict who will go through to day two so again you're gonna have to stick by to the next video if you want to get to predictions for that as well but yeah let's dive into the first game though so we've got stamina versus connections so connections is one of the um I'm pretty sure it's one of the yeah Chinese teams. I'm just double, just triple making sure here. They are one of the Chinese teams. So on paper, they're not going to be as good as the others because in China, they're really, I'd say, restricted in terms of opportunities. Of course, they've got a completely different build. But we did see a good level from uh, the Chinese team last year. Uh, I think it was the team of OU. I forgot what their name was, but this was Toxic Lotus. We'll talk about them later on because I think they're a pretty good team. But yeah, maybe a region that shouldn't be underestimated, to be honest. If Toxic Lotus are that good, maybe China 2 and China 3 team are pretty decent as well. But of course, it's Luminosity and Stamina. So with Stamina, they were the team of Team Oregon. Gucci, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but Drage, Angel Boy, and Nob. And then Nob couldn't make it because of visa issues. So then they took Bobby instead because Stamina didn't actually make it from NA, as you can see by these rankings. So it's going to be a wild one. So Angel Boy and Bobby together, that is going to be absolutely crazy. And Drage's drafting skills as well. I'm excited for this, especially versus Luminosity. It feels like Stamina don't get a break as an organization because they just constantly face off against Luminosity. And of course, Luminosity are an insane team as well. So first game, I don't think we need to really talk about this too much. I think Stamina should be able to comfortably take this. Surely comfortably take this. Like, I'm talking... 80% chance that they win. Of course, upsets can happen, but if you're literally talking about who should win on paper, it's definitely going to be Stamina. So it looks like predictions we're jumping straight to group number B. Also, this is going to be like a stream B, stream A. So you're going to have to like kind of float around all streams if you want to watch everything. So we've got Totem versus Toxic Lotus. So I, I don't know whether to go with a bit of an upset here. I, I don't know. It's a hard one because Toxic Lotus actually are a lot better of a team than people realize so here we can see the mea results we can see totem did finish sixth they did win a monthly final but i will say it's been a pretty disappointing year for them considering their roster is really stacked maybe the things weren't just going on well in the background i don't know what really went wrong for totem this year but they're still in a good opportunity and you can't really underestimate them especially on land chaos is absolutely cracked one of the best players in the world and of course totem from last year they I think they won every ESL LAN but one. I think they won like two or three. They won, of course, the big one in Japan as well, Maru and Mori, with the Samsung devices as well. That's one thing to note because this event is on Samsung devices. The reason why that's important to know is because not every pro is adjusted to this device, which should be a thing in esports, but it is, unfortunately. Like, it's not as smooth as other devices. There's been some problems. I don't know. Not every pro likes it. I won't go into the details because there's a lot of controversy about it but that's one thing to note so i think totem actually do get an improvement from these devices because they have a good track record so for that reason and i i, I don't know toxic lotus are really underrated i, I kind of want to put them at least in one of them I'm going to go with Totem in this one just because they've got the LAN experience. They're good on those devices as well. So we're actually wrapping back round to Group A then. So Stamina versus Luminosity. This is a hard one. I think this could literally be 50-50. 
and it could be just whatever you guys decide to be honest so if we take a look at pure stats luminosity did finish fourth but mainly because they had to miss out on one monthly final because of patchy i think he had some personal problems family problems at home so of course that's um that you can't really change that that's not anything to do with their in-game skill and luminosity nearly beat zeta last world finals like it was so close so i think they've definitely got it in them on lan they've got really good drafting skills as well but it's going to be a hard one the problem is that luminosity they've been playing together all year and of course stamina with bobby do they have enough time to really get the synergy together it's a hard one i want my heart really says stamina my head sells says lg i'm just gonna go with my heart here and say stamina this, it could be very biased i know a lot of people probably will disagree with me in the comments but that's just what my heart is saying mainly because i think angel boy and bobby they have the x factor in them especially online have you seen angel boy last lcq he's got the ice did you see bobby in world finals and also lcq last year they've got the ice so i think that'll be enough for them to carry it through so next game group b totem versus navi this is going to be another bang out and another one that's really hard to predict so i don't want to underestimate navi but i just think they've had a really troublesome year you can see the only qualified by one point i think they didn't make two out of the five monthly finals if i recall correctly i think they won a monthly final as well there's been a bit of a topsy turny um kind of year for them they've of course got a charpe who is a former world champion they've got levi who's absolutely cracked out as well they've got a really good roster but i just don't think things have been like going their way you can also take a look i've not really uh referred to this too much but literally before i streamed this uh before i did this video so i just a stream for this was a pre lcq tournament so teams i think they were using all the samsung devices in the warm-up rooms i'm pretty sure so you can see by these results we had navi they went pretty far but lost versus luminosity and they also lost versus toxic lotus who who are in their group and they lost 2-0 so that's one thing to note and toxic lotus they beat reply totem as well another thing to note but yeah navi have not really been looking too hot in my opinion and i, I feel like there could be i don't know a bit of an upset in the other games so we're gonna go with totem over navi inside of this one i think totem are just a better team overall next we have luminosity versus cns i don't think i need to talk about this too much i think on paper again 80 percent 90 percent luminosity again upsets can happen but let's just be real here that is going to be the biggest prediction so this is going to be one that will upset a lot of people because of course navi have a ton of fans and they're a stacked roster but i think this is where one of the upsets are going to come in and as i as i referred to literally right here tox i know it's only like a warm-up tournament and it's different when the pressure is on but trust me i think last year they were so unfortunate especially the players on toxic lotus to not at least win one game i think they came really close against luminosity if i remember correctly they definitely came really close to winning a land they should have and you can literally see here they've won 2-0 versus reply totem they won 2-0 versus navi and they only just what lost against stamina which is absolutely insane that, that, that is just crazy i think just by that also by navi just not really coming to standards and also i think last year in lcq they were really underwhelming as well i think i've got to go for toxic lotus again this is going to be a bit cool to be honest if you guys wanted to go on paper i think the majority of people would still say navi but i think in my mind i'm going to go with toxic lotus now we're going to go into group numbers out uh, number c group c we've got ecp versus bc so yeah the chinese team were on berlin city last year by the way it's a different bc so if you take a look at bc i completely forgot that their roster is just literally the angelic team so team angelic they were actually really they seemed underrated they just came out of nowhere but i will say there's no disrespect to them a lot of it did come down to of course we didn't know it was down to the servers because the servers were in hong kong they were a hong kong team so i think that was a big advantage in the first monthly final we've not really seen the level of them maybe they're underrated and maybe people are i don't know kind of dismissing them because of that server advantage for a little bit that's just kind of from what i know if we can see by the results they did lose to a chinese team in the lower bracket they also got swept by navi in the upper bracket so i don't know it's not really looking too hot for bc whereas ecp they literally won the entire tournament like as you can see here 2-0 versus stamina they won the whole thing they looked really good they've been looking pretty decent the entire year as well so i think it's quite comfortably going to be ecp in their favor 
I think it should be a walk in the park for them. Next up, we've got Group D, Foot versus Tribe. So this is going to be a really intense game because Foot, they've been looking hot. They look like the best team in their region, but it came down to a match point, match point. The final decided, literally last game in the last monthly final for South America, and they just missed out to, to actually get World Finals tickets. So we'll go to Foot Esports. So as you can see, in the table i think if they won that monthly fight yeah they would have gone to the world finals it looks like a big point difference but that's what it comes down to in that final game and then of course we've got tribe so tribe did win the first monthly final from what i can recall but they didn't really look the hottest throughout the whole year i don't know what really happened with tribe and maybe it's just a um confidence thing i'm not, not too sure but then they picked up fade and they looked so good in the last monthly final i know that's what exactly what tribe needed they needed a tank player they needed someone aggressive they needed someone that was really good on buster and fade is that guy on buster and he's got some good draft experience as well from what i know so i think fade's like the perfect combination from of course got Corey as well so they've basically got like a five-man roster there there's a lot of brains there's a lot of talent and of course i love tribe for that reason so in terms of my predictions let's quickly take a look at this how far the tribe go again i was trying to recall off the top of my mind tribe i think they did lose twice which is unfortunate they lost 2-1 to reply to them, which was really close and then they lost to navi 2-1 so they didn't love the hottest there whilst foot did they play 100 they did beat team queso they beat toxic lotus as well that is a good result for them but then they lost i think both of these games they have lost 2-0 versus stamina that's a bit of a tough one. And we only just lost versus Eclipse. So I think for... Um, uh, it's a bit of a hard one because I've got to always root for my boys. So in a biased mind, I'm thinking try, but I'm, I, I don't know. That's going to be a 50-50 game, to be honest. Foot maybe look like they have the better momentum. So I think if you used to go on form, I think you'd have to go with Foot. But if you're talking about land experience and who are actually the better players overall, it is the roster of Tribe 100%. They've got it in them. Hopefully they'll figure things out and have some good strategies going forward. So ECP versus TQ. This is going to be a tough game as well. Group C is pretty stacked for that reason. So if you take a look at Group C, there's potential for a lot of these to go through. TQ, I, I don't know, TQ weren't really convincing all year. You can see they were really far behind second and first place. Like, it wasn't even close in South America. It was only between the top two. So that's why for Team Q, T, um, Team Queso, I just don't really think much is going to happen with them. Again, they might be underrated. I think some players on their roster did do have a really good run. Uh, LCQ last time. Let me, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this roster. I think like, they still have potential. They can cause an upset, but I think, again, through this tournament... They just got swept both times by Foot Esports, who are literally from their region, and Stamina 2 0. I just, ECP won it all. So, just by going through all of those things, you clearly say on paper ECP is the better team. So, I'm going to vote for that. Next up, we've got Foot versus VN. So, VN, I'm pretty sure, are the other Chinese team. Let's just double check it is the other Chinese team. They've got some decent players, but I just think the gap between the Chinese teams is too much. I think Toxic Lotus is by far the best one, and then the other ones are just lackluster. And I will say that Foot have been looking really good all year. I, I don't know. don't want to read too much into this, so I just think I'll clearly go for Foot. They are the better team. They should be able to win that one. And this one, it is BC versus TQ. This one's going to be a hard one to predict, to be honest. I feel like it can go either way. I'm just going to go for who I think has the most experience, especially in the land setting and just everything else in a better region. Um, for, actually, no, not better region. APAC is the better region. But I, I just think overall, the level of competition, I think TQ will, might just take this. Uh, that's a hard one. Like, there's no point even, like going through that's 50 50 and then last one again i don't think there's too much to really talk about here tribe should be able to easily dispatch vn in my opinion uh, it will be pretty sweaty because there's so much on the line so i don't know me, me on paper saying that it should be easy i think it won't be as like black and white as that but yeah as you can see you can see all my predictions right here so i'll quickly go for it before i submit them so we've got stamina versus cns we've got totem versus toxic lotus but i think toxic lotus could definitely upset them by the way that could be a hot take we also have stamina versus lg again that's gonna be a really close game but my head says stamina totem versus navi i think totem they have the level above them at the moment and drafting as well i think is a big issue for navi uh group a luminosity easy 
we've got uh, Toxic Lotus. This is my hot take that a lot of people go for Na'Vi. I think Toxic Lotus will win that. Easy P, I think that's going to be an easy one. This is going to be a really hard one, but I went with Tribe. I think it's going to be an easy one. Foot, easy one. Team K, so I think that should be pretty easy. And then Tribe as well. So quickly, I would say the ones that are really confirmed. Stamina, that's pretty much going to happen 100%. Luminosity, that's pretty much going to happen 100%. And then this one as well, ECP, really confident on that. ECP again, really confident. And I would say the same about both teams versus VN. So I'm going to submit that. And hopefully this is hope, hope, uh, hopefully this has helped you guys get, get a lot more points. So if this has helped, make sure to subscribe to this channel because we're getting close to 100k here. Also, make sure to check out my day two predictions, which are going to be on tomorrow. But that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.